During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the Ag PhD GDU app. And what is a GDU? Well, let's, let's start right there with a growing degree unit. Now, if you're not a farmer, you're like, what is a growing degree unit? And, and hey, even if you are a farmer, you're probably like, okay, I've heard about this, but how do you exactly calculate that? Well, what we're looking at is how quickly a crop like corn is going to grow, and it responds to heat. So we look at the high temperature for the day and the low temperature for the day and try and determine how much heat there was on a particular day and how much growth we should see accordingly. Right, so this isn't an exact science. It's not going to get you to the exact hour as to when the corn is going to mature, but it at least is going to give a farmer a good idea in how that season is progressing, at what growth stage his crop should be at. So let's talk about corn because that's really the number one crop that this whole GDU thing is used for in the United States. And what they talk about with corn is there really isn't much growth below 50 degrees and there isn't great growth above 86 degrees. So you've got a top end of 86 and a bottom of 50. So any number that's below 50, you just drop that off and figure 50. Any number that's above 86, you drop that off and you just figure 86 for a max. So using a base as 50, you just take that high temperature plus the low temperature, divide by two, and subtract 50 off, and you'll see how many GDUs you've got. So for example, if you had a high of 80 degrees and a low of 60 degrees, we add 80 plus 60, and you get 140. Divide that by two, you get 70, and then 70 minus your base of 50 leaves you 20 GDUs for that particular day. Now, how much is 20 GDUs? Well, it's estimated it takes around 100 GDUs for corn to emerge from the ground. So you plant the corn, you get some moisture on it, it germinates, it's ready to go. Now it takes about an accumulation of five of these days with an 80 degree high, 60 degree low for that corn to emerge from the ground. If you want to figure this out for your farm or your garden or whatever it is at your place, you can certainly do that. All you have to do is download the free Ag PhD GDU app. You can punch in what your zip code is and then track from the date that you planted or whatever date you put in until now how many GDUs there really are. So it's a nice handy way to figure out exactly where you're at based on your local conditions. The other thing that many entomologists will do is look at an estimation of GDUs in terms of when are we gonna start seeing certain insects. Uh, oh, they usually come uh, after we've accumulated 500 GDUs in the growing season or something like that. So you could also use it to target certain problem insects in fields as well. Well, knowing your GDUs isn't going to help you at all with weed control, especially if you've got our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.